Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pogue Sue channel um, and, and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, I, I really am unique in the guitar business. And that's why a lot of people buy the Laura Arch Tops from me. Uh, I'm showing a 350 today. And by the way, these 350s have just gotten better and better over time. The, the carvers just get more intuitive in terms of how to, how to make them to actually bring out the acoustic. This is unplugged to bring out the acoustic voice. <laughs> sound beautiful there I've been with the music link longer than anybody who makes the Laura arch tops um, in fact they actually used two of my videos two of them uh, for the LH 350 on their company website for around two years I'm really hooked up with these guys and I'm I'm unique in that I get the Laura arch tops I buy them up front and I go over them, I plan I make sure I dig them I make sure they have the mojo or I don't sell them you're not gonna find that anywhere else so I really am the guy to buy the Laura arch tops from People call me from all over the USA and order from me. And right now I've got a really great 350. I've got a, an LH300 that thinks it's a 600 or a 700. I've got a 700. I've got a 650. Uh, I've got a 600. See, I got a 600, 700, 350, 650. I think I got four or five and they're all really nice. So that's what's unique. But anyway, um, I always like to do a little bit of free you know, instruction as well. But yeah, this is a really nice 350. I like to put acoustic strings on these too, and they, they really sing out because it basically is an acoustic arch top with a floating pickup, which sounds great, by the way. But yeah, this is a carved top, the, the, the solid uh, top, and it's violin voice, which brings out the, the resonance and the overtones and the reverb. But let me think here. Um, you know, sometimes just doing simple things, like I love this chord, if you've been following me. I love this uh, major 13 flat five chord which is different than the dominant 13, right, which has the flat 7. And you can take this chord and come down, uh, come down like a minor pentatonic, and come up a half step here. I know that I know that note's not in the minor pentatonic. We don't need to argue about that. And of course, the minor pentatonic is built from the natural minor scale, but I don't want to get into a big theory rap. So that... See that... that uh, major 13 flat 5 and you could also do uh, a G major scale which I know I'm not starting on G so we can call it a mode but it just, I find it just confuses people so a mode is just a major scale that starts on a different step it's that simple so you could come down the minor pentatonic or you could also use a G major scale here I add some chromatic notes to it. That could also resolve to the major 13. Okay, and uh, and when you when you use the G major scale, then you got that F sharp in there, which is kind of cool, right? Because then uh, related to the major 13, the F sharp one, two, three, four, five gives you kind of like a flat five. But again, it's it's the sound and the way they complement each other. So. Uh, using the notes of a G major scale and then I chromaticize the top string okay but doesn't this 350 sound nice and that's unplugged okay That can resolve to a major 13, which can resolve to a 7 sharp 5 sharp 9. And the diminished scale, diminished scale works nice over that. And you can always go up a minor third, because just like the diminished chord repeats every, becomes a natural inversion of itself every minor third, you can do the same thing with the half step, full step scale. But anyway, yeah, this is really a nice 350. It really has a nice, nice sound. Uh, seriously, folks, if this same guitar were made by one of the big boys, it'd be a hell of a lot more money. So yeah, the Lore is one of the few, or the whole, all the products from the Music Link, it's one of the few real values on the planet. They like to call old world value. At a working man's price, it's really true. I'll plug this in too and do another demo. 
may be tuned a little bit low. Um, sometimes when I get these in, I'll, I'll just keep them a little lower for a while. I probably don't need to. But, you know, there's been a lot of weather changes. It was, I live by the beach. It was 102 about a month ago. And then, and then it started getting, it changed. And then it went back. And now it's colder. And so, you know, it's good for next to kind of stay away. But yeah, this is a great value, folks. Hear that kind of reverb bloom? You can almost hear kind of a swell of the natural reverb. That's from the violin voicing on the top. And that goes, I'm using a diminished scale here, the half step, whole step scale. Yeah, there's a really nice kind of woody natural reverb you get from these and if you add I think it's got half and halves on it right now half wound half flat but if you put on acoustic strings these things really sing so it kind of depends you know on what your what your sound you like they sound pretty nice like this too but anyway so yeah like I said I know I'm tuning a little low right now but yeah that that's a nice little, I, I love this major 13 flat five. You can also do it like this. And that makes a nice little cycle by the way, right? So I'm going major 13 flat. It's almost like I'm going, going like this, right? But I'm doing it with the chord. Makes a nice little cycle. this form you got the root the flat five the seven the three and the thirteen okay in this form you have the root the flat five the seven the three the thirteen and the nine It's good to, to do just really mindless things like even just four fingers just to warm up, you know. Hear how I'm playing with weight now. If I just play normally, but when you add a little bit of weight, of course, the whole thing too then is learning how to play with less weight to get uh, more facility out of your technique. That's a whole nother wrap. But anyway, this 350 is available. It's beautiful. It really sounds good. It's got a nice top with nice silking patterns, the patterns that go across the solid top. And like I said, I go over these, I play them, I make sure I believe in them and love them or I don't sell them. So I'm really, I'm really a good guy to get a lower arch top from. And this is really nice. So you feel free to text me, 714-548-0385. <laughs> Call me, 714-548-0385, or email Steve Zook, the number seven at yahoo.com. That's Steve Zook, seven, not spelled out, the number seven at yahoo.com. But yeah, this one is available. It's already very musical. I really like that cycling down those 13, major 13 flat fives. It's a cool sound, right? sounds great. So, uh, I haven't played this for a while, hardly at all, actually, so the strings are still stretching out. But yeah, this is available. Sounds great. <laughs>
Triple H three fifty. I'm one of the only dealers that actually buys these up front, plays them, gets to know them, and uh, make sure that they have the mojo so that when you buy it, you're not getting. And all the lower arch tops are great, but even they admit some just ring out more than others. It's with even Chet Atkins said every guitar is different. Every guitar has a little bit different quality because of the wood and where it was and the soil and how long it laid around before it was cured and all lots of variables like that. So. Uh, like I said, even the music link says, yeah, you know, some guitars just ring out better than others. So I don't think I've ever played a bad lore arch top, but some of them definitely ring out more than others. And that's what I, that's what I do. That's what I bring to the table is I make sure that you're getting a great one. This one really has some nice thin little soaking patterns that go across this way. Whenever you see those nice thin soaking patterns, it always ages uh, better and becomes more musical. <laughs> Folks, 714-548-0385. These do not come with a case, so if you want a case, it's a little extra. I'll give you the case really close to cost. I'd prefer to have a case with it because it's a really great guitar. Seriously, if this same guitar were made by a different company with the solid carved top, it'd probably be it'd be way, way more money. So uh, most people aren't going to realize what a value the Laura is till 20 years from now when, it, when the, the price will be crazy. So now's the time to get a great Laura Arch top. And like I said, you know, I go over them, I buy them up front, I make sure that they're really sweet, I make sure they have the mojo and the magic. That's important, man. My customers appreciate that. Now there I'm just doing a, a minor 7 to an inversion minor 7 to an inversion dominant 7 to a major 13 flat, flat 5, or I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to the uh, 7 sharp 5 sharp 9. that the, the bi chord is a minor seven and a major nine to a major nine six and a seven to do it again anyway i'm going to stop all right take care folks